Hey, that's right. So that fire had happened right behind me here on Constellation Drive. I want to take you straight to the scene. We are getting a lot of new details on this horrifying story out here in Slidell. So we have learned the names of the family members that did pass away in this fire. We are told that Phoenix Lusto, 33 years old, her husband, Stephen Lusto, 40 years old, and their daughters, Peyton Lusto, she was just five years old, and Mackenzie Lusto, she was just 10 years old. The fire, it appears to have started in the back of the home a little after 1 a.m. The fire marshal says the people inside were renting and the smoke alarm, it was not working. Neighbors say they heard what was likely propane tanks exploding. They jumped out of their bed and called 911. As fire officials arrived on scene, they worked to reach the family. They were able to locate them and get them out, but they all suffered from smoke inhalation and did not survive. We spoke with neighbors today. As you can imagine, they are devastated. Then I came out and went and beat on the door, and she saw 911, and so did the neighbor across the canal or 911 also on it, and was on her way over here, so she saw it too. Uh, beat, on a, beat on the door, but no, no, no response. No response. The door was hot, he said. That's hot. It was probably late. We gave the family the best chance we could give them. Uh, just a tragic, tragic morning. Uh, I, I, my message today is, Hug your kids, because two of the victims were children. And check your smoke detectors, because we had one smoke detector present, but not working. You know, and I can't say it enough, smoke detectors save lives. So again, here's another live look at the scene. You can see the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office still out here. This area, it is covered in crime tape. I am told that foul play is not suspected in this fire. The exact cause, it is under investigation. I'm told it is accidental. That is likely what happened. But again, a heartbreaking story out here in Slidell. The youngest victim, just five years old. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Oh, Marie, thank you very much. Heartbreaking indeed. And as colder weather moves in once again this week, the number of possible house fires may increase in the days ahead. Firefighters want to make sure everyone has working fire alarms. If you need a smoke detector, the state fire marshal's office is ready to help. They'll come to your property, to your home, and install one for free. You can find the link to register for your free smoke alarm online at our website. Just go to WDSU.com. And the state fire marshal's office also wants to remind you how to stay safe when heating your homes, how to do so properly. First, when using those space heaters, always place them three to five feet away from a surface and plug them directly into wall outlets. Do not use stove tops or ovens to heat your home and don't overall don't overfill those fireplaces. Never leave candles or open flames unattended. And of course, make sure your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors